back. This video will look at the rough guide on where to customize and then we will cover some basics on API. So as always, let's start the tutorial with a code. Alright, so as the title hint, this should be used as a rough guide on where to customize. So first you ask yourself if you will be customizing on the client side or server side. If the answer you get is uh, client side, ask if you are setting a specific field to required read only or visible. If the answer is yes, you should typically use UI policy. If the answer is no, then you should typically use the client script. If the original answer if the answer for the original question was server uh, then you should ask yourself is it on a record action so do I want to run a script when a record is inserted or updated if the answer is no ask yourself will this be a button or menu if the answer turn out to be yes you will typically use your action if the answer is no, you might use script include. If the one of if one record one record action is yes, you typically use the business rule for this. So this particular diagram will help you to understand key uh, how to take decision where you have to write a co uh, your script. Okay. Again, this guide is only considered five scripting location which are most commonly used. Okay. But keep in mind that this is a rough guide and should just be used as a general template to take decisions. Alright, so now let's talk about EPS or application programming interface. So an API provides building block to help you the developer uh, help you the developer api api defines how to interact with the service or system and they provide way to do common task so if for example you wanted to retrieve a record from a database you would do so by using service now glide record api this api provides a layer of abstraction you the programmer don't have to mess with writing the actual sql statements and handling the written record the glide record api does all that for you some of the most popular server service now apis is glide record glide system glide user glide form glide ajax glide time and glide time uh, date and time apis there are many more service now apis so i recommend checking the service now docs for the further details is throughout the uh, rest of the from today as people were demanding for the scripting practices right so from this course onward we will be discussing on one api at a time in much greater details okay so to help solidify your understanding on the of what api is right let's go over an analogy so for this analogy we will say our goal is to build a house well in order to build a house we need material for the house so this can be thought of as scripting locations okay so you can consider material as scripting location we need the foundation doors electric uh, and other materials as well then in addition to this material we also need tools to help us construct a house from this material so what the tools do it um, integrates all these components and create a house out of it okay so you can consider house as a project so we can think of this tool as an api available to us okay so we have glide record api which can act as a hammer a glide system api which can act as a screwdriver and etc so coming back around to the scripting location within service now we can see that we have covered business rule script include client script ui action ui policies schedule jobs and workflow so the, for this reason i have covered these entities in the previous lectures if you have not checked it out please go and check out 
those uh, the play playlist okay the api is that we will discuss and rest of the course generally falls into two categories okay that is client side and server side api so server side apis can be used if any server side scripting location and client side apis can, can be used it's about a client side scripting location so you you should start to see that location of script aren't as important as knowing how to interact and work with this apis so where can i use this we talk about the scripting location and the different apis but where can i when can a developer actually use certain features within service now right so well I, as i st stated come uh, before uh, we will uh, typically broke up the api format api category into two subcategories the client side and server side on the server side we have things like business rules and on the client side we have things like client script server side we have script include ui action business rules uh, on a client side we have client script ui action who works on both server side and client side as we have seen in the previous tutorials and ui policies so these are the scripting location but what about the apis will api it will uh, in turns out uh, we will be using so uh, on client side we we will be using apis like glide form glide user apis okay and in which component we can use the uh, client side apis like client script ui action ui script and service portal whereas on server side we have uh, apis like glide record glide system glide date time and we can use this server side apis in business rules ui ui action scripting clues schedule job service portal also we can use uh, server side script then we have web services and workflows so in this in this particular tutorial we will not be having any de demo if you are still confused as to what is going on bear with me in the next few session uh, we'll actually get into the apis and discuss and take a look at what actually they do okay so please subscribe and stay with us to understand the apis in details so from from coming tutorials we will be focusing more on a scripting side rather than on a theoretical side thank you and have a nice day